Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will do uh, draft building, the, as you see this will be car park, so let's get started. So, and now we need to create new project, let's go to the left side of uh, our window, Revit window, and we will choose architect template, few seconds and we get it. First what we're gonna do, we need to make uh, our working space uh, workable for this project. So first uh, my recommend go to elevation view and set up um, levels as much as you want for your own project or just follow my project. Let's go to elevation view, I'll choose the east one. And as you see we have now here two levels and uh, the higher of the second level it's 3.5 but actually I don't need so high I need only 3 meter for my um, car parking it will be more than enough I think uh, second thing what I need I need mm, more levels two levels it's uh, so low car parking I hope we will make the five levels so on the top top menu you can see here the level click on that let's click the pick line and let's make offset 3 meters as you can he see here 3 meters nice now just click on this on the second level on the third level follow and we get the five level here escape couple of time so in this stage we going to the floor plan let's go to the floor plan and let's draw our floor just click as you see here on the architect floor i already choose it so i can draw it um, and let's draw it not i want to draw like this <laughs> i don't know it's something Ah, it's okay. So it will be 40 meters. So it means like 40,000 by 100,000. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Like this, yes. And let's connect them. And let's apply it. So we get our floor. Don't forget guys, we doing the simple, uh, simplest way to understandable how Revit working and how you can start make your own projects. So and let's uh, correct our views. Let's check it. Mm -hmm. I'll correct now. So now let's make the reference plane, again we, we, you can see here on the work plane we can choose the reference plane, so click on that and let's make offset 2500 millimeter and apply it. So I want, oh escape sorry, I want to make from here to here, uh, from here, no it's not like this, from here here from and last one here let's a bit extend it we will uh, clean up everything later now we need only make the our work pl workplace Like this and now we need to create the grid lines here near with the reference plane you can see a grid line so click on that and let's draw from the mm, bottom to the top and as you see my grid line set 14 it's okay just click on that and change here by name change to first one or if you want to use the letters use that so our first grid already here Second thing what we need, we need copy it on the whole our distance. So let's go back to the grid line. Let's choose peak line and let's write, write it's 7, 
7600 for my situation for your situation it will be different and let's tap enter and click on our grid lines and as you see here I have small gap let's check it how long is gap it's 3.8 meter it's a bit high so what we're gonna do I just click on the grid line right click select all intentions and in entire project so now I choose all my grid lines here the middle of uh, our grid lines but real middle is here what I need I need a bit shifted just move from this side to this and as you see we can check now this position 1900 and this position oh sorry <laughs> it's not this one this one and now 1900 okay good but uh, the wrong thing we have now uh, our floor it's too big so let's make it smaller smaller just double click on our floor and let's go to the align align is here click on that this line to this and lock it same here this line to this and lock it and let's apply it and now we need ah now everything okay now we set up all the size and as you see this is uh, same distance on the both side now we will create new reference plane so let's go and choose again reference plane and again we need the peak line and now 17 meters 17 thousand and from this line and from this line and as you see we have here small gap later on you will uh, you will get why and now again go to reference plane and let's create for the middle middle line let's extend a bit like this uh, we need one more mm, reference line this is will be last re reference line so let's go again to reference plane uh, again pick line and let's set up 5000 uh, to 200 so mm, this one we need for our pedestrian and road because one will be in endurance, one will be in out, and near uh, the some people should uh, mm, should can access inside in this building. So let's create one and second one, escape and just a bit extend our middle line. That's it. Now let's create the horizontal grid. So again we will go to grid. Uh, no, I will do this later. And now uh, let's create first grid from this side to this side. Let's change the name to the A. To the A. Okay. And now we need in the middle between this line and this. So we will go again to the grid. And as we know, this distance it's 70 meters so we will divide by two and it will be uh, 8.5 so just pick line 8500 enter and let's create second one and in this time we need here same let's mm, no we not will do that because i don't want to change names by hand so zero cancel from the left to the right from the left to the right again pick 
in a thousand like this let's change to this one and from the left oh zero from the left to the right escape capital pen and finally let's create our first floor first we're going to the floor and now i need the line and let's draw it from this side and apply it and now finally let's go to the 3d view and as you see we get our first floor now we need just a copy on the uh, other floors and now how we do it just click on our floor uh, now we need going to the copy here copy and paste we will use the align to select levels so use all the levels except first one and okay and as you see we get all our levels uh, let's go to the east view to easily understand that let's make it more contrast for understand before we will continue uh, we need to go to uh, back again to 3d view and as i get now i make some some something wrong so what I will do, I will just delete all the levels except the first one. I will go to the first level and uh, I will change it fast. So edit boundary, uh, align this line to this and this line to this. And here same, this and this. Now I think ok. Why I did wrong? Because the distance of our slope I mean angle will be so big but now it will be uh, okay <laughs> more okay than before so and let's uh, apply it again going to 3d view again I choose the first level uh, copy paste and from the second to the fifth done 